So, yes, I have some more stuff. I've been a little busy. <laughs> I have to admit. Um, now, I made some of these oh, about a month or so ago. And I ended up selling them before I listed them. And so I made some more. And what these are basically, they are watercolor slash sketchbooks, I guess, whatever you want to use them for. But it was with the intention of those of you that might want to do some watercoloring, maybe on the run, going somewhere, taking it with you as you go maybe on nature walks or go on picnics or whatever it is you like to do. Um, let me give you the dimensions first. These are seven and three quarters by a little over five, <clears throat> and they're almost two inches. I will show you. Well, let me show you this one. I like this color. <laughs> Oh, no. Let me show you the bug one first. You know me and my bugs. All right. So this is how they're put together. They are cardboard. And then I have some um, scrapbook paper on them. In the front, I put one of these little um, um, sleeves, I guess you would call it, that comes out of a, a photograph book, you know, the old, and we used to have photographs, and I just cut those down and glued it on here. Stuck a picture on here, but with the intent that once you start doing and using the book, and either you sketch or watercolor, whatever, then um, the pieces of the uh, watercolor paper that I have in there fit in here real cool. So if you draw something or paint something, then you can stick it in there and make it your cover. All right. So now this is with the intention of uh, those of you that maybe have not done watercolor before and maybe you're a little scared or skittish. And so kind of everything is kind of included here. And, um, you know, you don't have to get anything else. There's a small little journal in here that's made up of uh, this is mixed media paper 110 pound and there are 20 sides to this little journal in here and it just slips in and out so as you do the work um you can do it in the book or you can do it out of it and then you can replace it um once you've used up all of these papers now here is um with, you know, if if you're a beginner, this is a, a good way for you to start. If you already do watercolor, then obviously you would substitute the watercolors that you have here. But these are just um, inexpen inexpensive. I can get that out. Um, student grade um, watercolors for you to experiment with. And then it also comes with a watercolor brush pen. And then it has, um, uh, there are, let me think, there are 12 of these um, watercolor and these are 140 pounds. And, um, and so you can just tear those out and use those. And these covers, um, all the covers on these watercolor tins, what I did is I put tissue paper on them just to make them a little, a little unique, a little different. You know, we got to put our own little spin on everything. So we have something that somebody else doesn't have, right? <laughs> it always feels better to have something unique. That's why we go for all the handmade stuff. Then back here, I made an accordion um, styled uh, flip out journal. This is made with mixed media paper, the same as this one, which is, I believe, 110. And then inside of each one, there is a um, watercolor uh, paper that fits 
in there and it's also the same size as these and I believe these will fit in here. So this folds out. I don't think I'll be able to get it all in frame. But you get the idea. And you can sketch or color or whatever on both sides. Plus, you can take out um, the paper. The uh, I call them tags, like tags, cards. You can take those out and work on those. So you have the watercolor and the mixed media. They are hinged together with some cotton fabric that I've sewed these together with. When you're finished with all this, you can leave it as is, or you could actually cut these out and use them and frame them or whatever it is, or put them into other journals, whatever you choose to do. So I think that's kind of fun. And then, To make it easier to carry these around, each one will come in um, this nice little muslin bag. And then also, you will also get these um, sketch pencils and an eraser. So if you just like to sketch things down, very cool. And you can always come back with the watercolors and do that. But you may say, Rosemary, I can't draw, I can't sketch, I can't do anything. Well, what's really cool with these is what I did is on uh, one that I have, I actually um, stamped it, you know, with permanent stamps and then came back with the watercolor and they look so cool. And, um, and so you can still play with the watercolor and different kinds of papers even if you are not artistic. Put the stamp and come back and work with the watercolors. So I have three more. And I'll just show them real quickly. They're all uh, put together the same. They're just with different papers and different colors inside. So like I say, it's all the same. That folds out in the accordion. That has that. And then the only thing different in this one is the way that I finished off the tin and then the cover that I put on this pad. And that's what makes that one different. This one is purple. Again, the same here and here. And the only difference... is the tin and the cover and then I have one more same 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 <laughs> and this has peacocks and then I think this is a peacock design. It really isn't, but it says peacock to me. <laughs> and they each come with the bag and the pencils and the eraser. So whether you draw, whether you stamp, whether you sketch, these I think will be a nice addition um, to your little arsenal of journals that you have. Um, to do that kind of work in. So as always, I had fun making them. They need a new home and that new home I think should be yours. <laughs>